Hi, this is the Wine Tang 4-in-1 selfie stick. Now, under eBay, sorry, Amazon, it comes under a different name as the Muscant selfie stick. But obviously, one tang makes, makes it. Now, this is a 4-in-1 selfie stick. Now, just just before I oh, see what's inside, show you what's inside the box, we'll go around the box. Obviously we have the one tang there. On the side we have a picture of the selfie stick on its tripod base. And also a picture of the shutter button on there. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that is the phone mount, what it comes with. The model number is the VT, VCT-1688. On the back, I'll have to show you this way. On the back here, it's got a cozy, cozy bedtime movie. So obviously got a kid uh, on his bed with this next to it, showing in his movie. Um, online video, suitable for online video chats, group selfies, digital sheet music, and outdoor group meetings. On the other side, it basically says selfie stick, uh, selfie stick for, mobile, uh, for phone, tripod for phone, tripod for GoPro camera. Uh, stand, and it goes A option, stand, holder and phone. Maximum height is 1.33 meters, um, or, or, or 55 to 98 millimeters, with the width doesn't matter, <laughs> so it's got down here. And the depth of a minus or less than two, 22 millimeters. It's got here, no more soreness or stiffness in your neck when watching videos on your phone using this. And then it's got option B here, stand and digiclam cap compatible with types of cameras of compact cameras and instant cameras. Now compact cameras no more than 420 grams and instant cameras no more than 420 grams. And back to the other side. Now we're going to take out what's in the box. Let's remove that. Now I paid for this um, all-in-one tripod, uh, 20 pounds on eBay. Oh, sorry, on Amazon. Now, what we get in the box, we get a GoPro thumbnail screw, a phone clamp here, which is, I'll have to have a look, but it may be spring-loaded. I'll have to have a look at that. Oh no, it's not spring-loaded. It's actually tightened, which is not bad. It actually uses a screw to tighten it, which is not bad at all. And then we get a GoPro mount, tripod mount. We get a case for this selfie stick. Okay, we get the selfie stick. We get instructions, which are in English at the front and Chinese at the back. Um, the instructions mainly tell you about the Bluetooth uh, remote uh, control with it and then we get a little in Chinese a little kind of card so we take them out of the way 
and remove them out of the way. And that. Now, this is the selfie stick. And if I pop this out, this is the remote. Now, the remote here does charge with a USB-C, um, sorry, USB-B type B lead. But it looks like you do not get the lead with it. So you don't get a lead with it at all. Going around the selfie stick, we have these tripod legs. Um, we have a tightener here and we see what that does. My guess is, is, is to tighten the, the column, but that's similar to what you get on a tripod. Then we have the mount here, which as you can see, it has a quarter inch uh, thread on it uh, with a uh, dial here to help screw the thread on. Um, we have an adjustment screw here for the platform and it's in notches. So it's not straightforward, it, it goes up in notches. And we have a simple diagram to unlock and lock the stem. Um, so we'll put a camera on there, uh, set it all up and we see, oh, we, uh, in tell a lie, we do get a USB lead. And here's the USB lead. So we have a USB type B here and standard USB and that's to charge um, the remote. Now, setting this up to this uh, remote here is quite easy. Um, what we do is, on the side of the remote here, just here, there is an on and off button. So it's um, on here, off here. And what you do is you put that to the on position. There will be a blue light in here. A blue light will show up in here, which is flashing. Then you go to your phone and go to Bluetooth, switch on Bluetooth, and it will come up as one tang here. Just press it, it will pair, and then it will connect. So that's how you connect the shutter button. Um, that's how you connect the shutter button to your phone. Now on here we have the shutter to start and stop recording and also to start uh, to take a photograph. Now it looks like it may have zoom to zoom out and to zoom in capabilities here. So we'll have a look if that is the case. Now I've attached the phone mount. That's simple because that had a quarter inch female thread here inside. And I attached it onto the platform here which has the quarter inch thread. Now as I says, this phone mount is a screwable phone mount. It's not based on um, uh, springs, which is quite good. So you can make an adjustment quite tight with this phone mount. So all you do at the top of the phone mount, there is a diagram that says um, to loosen that way and to tighten is that way. So all I'm gonna do is put my iPhone um, SE into it, adjust the mount. Clamp down. Now on the mount itself, it has two rubber sections underneath to grip your phone, which is quite good. So that is now mounted on. And now let's see how it looks when it's set up. Now, just before I show you the full amount, this is what the legs look like when they're spread out. Now, as you can see, um, with these legs are quite good. They're quite substantial. They're made out of metal. Um, they're quite substantial. They feel a little bit hollow, but they're quite substantial and they have a cross beam to them. 
um, this screw here is for when you stretch out the legs to hold the legs down into its position you tighten that um, wing knot here and this section here I'll try and bring it into this section here is to hold the shutter button in so you press that in there and that holds get it in pop it there and that holds the shutter button in now this pocket here is made of rubber so it holds the shutter button in there now I'm going to do uh, show you uh, how it looks on the ground okay now this is how it looks I place it on the floor because obviously main, most of the time this is going to be floor standing obviously you can have it on a desk and whatever etc but this is how it looks as I says we got the shutter remote here right here in, in its holder here that's the tightening screw to keep these legs from not retracting up and this is the central column the platform base the adjustment here for the platform base if you want to angle it uh, down or angle it up and as I says that goes in notches and the phone holder on there now you can put a GoPro on this as well and also a camera as well now the camera that you have to put on here has to be a compact camera you probably may get away with a mirrorless camera but it has to be less than 420 grams because that's the um, maximum weight it can allow uh, to stand on here is 420 grams now um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extend it now this pole extends similar to um, like monopoles um, you they have a twist action and then you pull up uh, so it extends similar to that not like um, other selfie sticks which are like basically like an aerial where you just pull them and that's it this has a kind of uh, this pole here it's kind of pull and then you have to twist each section to hold it so that's what I'm going to do next right this is how it looks when it's fully fully extended now it stands from the top here straight to the bottom at 57 inches <coughs> and I have to say I am standing about six inches away from it on a wooden floor and it is not moving it's actually quite steady and I put it down to that the legs at the bottom here have a cross member um, a to them and the legs are quite sturdy and because they have a cross member to them um, that provides more stability plus the stick itself um, is a lot thicker than a previous um, model that I showed before that on another video and I'll leave the link up here uh, to the other one um, where this shaft is more thinner but this shaft is a lot bigger um, as I said the shaft of this the stick is very similar to if you were getting a self uh, monopole or selfie pole for your GoPro camera it's a lot that kind of thickness and that kind of built so that's why this is quite sturdy I like the platform how wide the platform is it's I can see why it can hold a compact camera now you might get away with a mirrorless camera it all depends if your mirrorless camera is less than 420 grams with its lens on but I'm exactly five foot seven and as you can see to me it just comes just under my chin now as I says um, this would be great outside I would still even though it's a small phone that I've got on there I will still tether this because even though it, it looks it's sturdy 
and I think a light breeze wouldn't knock it over, but anything a little bit stronger than a very light breeze, I think it probably would go over because a larger phone would just act like a sail. The wind would just take it. So I would still tether this if you can, just, just a piece of string, just bring a piece of string and just tie it to here and tie it to a post or even if it's outside a cafe or whatever, cafe or a restaurant or whatever that you're taking a group shot, you just tie it to a chair or to a table leg and that would be all right. But as you can see, um, I kind of like it. I like the black color of it as well. Uh, it, it's quite a nice um, selfie stick stroke four in one. Now, I really do not know why they call it a four in one. Um, to me, it's, a, you can say a selfie. Um, it has a tripod base. Now that's two. I do not know where they get the four from, probably because it's got a independent uh, look at again shutter button to it probably that's why and so that's one and that you can put a GoPro camera on there too uh, that's you know that's four like so as I said this is what it looks like when it's fully extended and now I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like uh, when I use the shutter button okay now I've got it um, lowered and it is 19 inches from the top uh, from the sorry 19 inches from the floor to the top when it's um, lowered down so now I'm going to show you um, the workings of the shutter button uh, using uh, my iPhone SE okay now I'm going to test out the shutter button here now at the top here this is the shutter button and we got a plus a minus and a plus here now I've got it onto the video part so I'm gonna see if the minus and the plus um, can do zooming in or not so let's have it let's have a go so if I press the shutter button we should start to videotape there and it's videotaping me if I press it again and stop it stops right now let's see if the plus button here zooms it doesn't do it let's see if the minus button zooms out and it doesn't so these plus and minus these plus and minus buttons really just act as another button um, so my guess is that these remotes that come with this particular selfie stick are just generic they probably will work on a program on another selfie stick but as for this selfie stick it just works as another shutter button now I'll put the phone into photograph mode um, to see if the shutter button works for that so we'll take it into photos. Now I'm going to press the shutter button again. That's it, takes a picture. I'll press the plus button, takes a picture, and I'll press the minus button. Still takes a picture. So as I says, all three of these buttons just take a picture and nothing else. So that's what you can expect with this shutter button. Now, I'll just go over again. This shutter button has a lithium battery in there. Um, it takes half an hour to charge it. And you'll get, I think it quotes that it would last up to about a couple of hours on this charge. It, obviously, if you have, continuously have your finger down on the button. Um, but this is the only thing that requires charging. And as I said, it is not a bad um, selfie stick stroke tripod for your phone and for your compact camera and your GoPro camera. So if you're looking for something to take with you on holiday, uh, which has a tripod built into it and that, 
and a selfie stick all in one. You can't go wrong with this. Okay, the between the points of my fingers here, try and get that into shot. Now between the points of my fingers from this finger here to this finger here, it's 45 inches. Uh, so that's 45 inches of stick you're gonna get here. So that ex excludes the handle part. Um, one thing I've noticed with this um, selfie stick than with others, with most others, is that you cannot put, and it's not really to do with the stick itself, it's to more like to do with the phone holder. You cannot put the phone holder into uh, portrait mode. It only does landscape. So if you are gonna do any portrait um, mode shooting for your Instagram, or Facebook, whatever, you're gonna have to put, I'll extend the stick a little bit. You're gonna have to turn the stick that way. So while you are holding it that way, landscape, if you wanna put it into portrait mode, you're gonna have to turn that way, basically, because this holder does not um, turn at all. It just holds your phone in landscape mode. Anyway, my opinion on this is, if you're looking for a very good all-in-one selfie stick, i.e. a selfie stick that has a tripod, uh, legs to it, that uh, has good stability, you want it floor standing, not just table standing, you want it to stand off the floor, you can't go wrong with this for 20 pounds. It is lightweight, it doesn't take up much, I take up much room in your case at all because of the uh, thinness, how thin it is uh, altogether. I love how it has the ability that you can not only just put your phone on there, it also comes with a GoPro tripod mount and the thumb screw for it. So you can put a GoPro camera on there or any action camera. Also, you can put your normal point and shoot or compact camera on here. You may get away with a mirrorless camera, depending on the size of the lens, you can put on here as well. The sturdiness of this as well, I, I have to give it that as well. I give it a tick mark for that. It, it's quite sturdy. So for an all-in-one solution to take on holiday or for your, out, for your day trips and that, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, with the Wantang, I hope I got that right, VCT-688. As I said, you can get them on Amazon. I don't know if you can get them on eBay, you probably can. You'll have to look for, hunt for that because I tried looking and I couldn't find it. So they might come under a different name uh, on eBay. But anyway, so my conclusion, so this all together is, if you can afford it, go out, get it, because it's quite good for what it is. Anyway, if you like this video, please do me a favor. Please like, please subscribe, leave us a thumbs up. If you've got one of these already, please just leave a little comment down in the comment section below. Tell us what you thought of it, if you had any trouble with it, if you thought it was great, just leave a comment down in the comment section to let others know. Anyway, that's my video on this. Thanks for watching.